Good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and I was always told out of voice radio, and today I am delighted because we've got a new GX to talk about. But ladies and gentlemen, this is a good GX. This is a GX that I looked at first of all and went, meh. And then I kept looking at it. And the more I looked at it, the more this became a ridiculously good card. I'm excited, and you absolutely should be too. It is Zygarde GX, and it is one of those Pokemon that really could change the format. So starting off with the basics, it is a 200 HP Pokemon. Which is frankly very, very big. You're up there then with the big boys like... Well, Lycanroc, which is a stake one. You've almost up there with Zoroark, and the only real basics you're beating here are Wishy Washy and Guzzlord, which really does put you in the upper echelons in terms of HP. It is quite ridiculous. You are a fighting type, which gives you a lot of advantages. It means you're hitting Zoroark for weakness. It means that you get strong energy to go and help you out. It means that you get Brooklet Hill to try and search you out if you so wish. It means you've got Regirock to try and add a bit of damage. And although it's not a Pokemon we're going to be talking about much in this video, it's going to get its own video later on today or tomorrow, the new Diancie Prism Star means that you add 20 extra damage if Diancie is on the bench. Now it's a Prism Star, so only one per deck, but shall we say this means you can add up the damage here very, very quickly. The retreat cost of three is very high, which is a little bit of a pain, and you do have a Grass Weakness, and of course, Grass Weakness is a little bit of an issue because you've got Golisopod. Golisopod GX is a very good card, it is very widely played, so it isn't the best weakness ever, although as we're going to see in a minute, we've got ways around it. Now, the first attack here is quite frankly phenomenal. For a double colorless energy, and we'll talk more about this in a moment, but single energy attachment on a basic Pokemon, count me in. Oh, before I forget, this translation was brought to you by the lovely Autobot Tesla. So, double colorless energy, 50 damage, and you can attach two fighting energy from your discard pile to this particular Pokemon. Now, one quick ruling note here that I need to make you guys aware of. It is fighting energy only. Strong energy is only fighting energy when attached, so you cannot accelerate strong energy using this. But energy acceleration is great. Look at a Pokemon like Silvalli that accelerates two energy when it attacks. It's very good, and if you look at the attack cost of the other attacks for Zygarde, you really are talking here about a Pokemon that needs two more energy. So you put a double colorless down, hit for 50, grab two fighting energy from the discard, and then you're off and ready to go with your big attacks. That's very nice. Now, of course, there is a bit of an issue here. You might be KO'd. So, for instance, if you get the double colorless, you grab the two energy from the discard, something like a Golisopod might come up and actually get a KO on you, which would be a pain. Or maybe even something like a Gardevoir might come up, and of course, Gardevoir does more damage based on how much energy is on you. So, if you go and pile a whole bunch of energy on you and then end your turn, that really is like a red flag to Gardevoir going, come on, Gardevoir, come and have a go if you think you're hard enough, which it probably will be. The thing is, you're not losing anything if that happens. The energy just goes straight back to the discard. It's not like you've wasted your energy attachment. And this, and this is what's great about this attack. It is not just for accelerating energy. That is really just a nice side note. Because if we look at something like Zoroark, that is a big Pokemon. It's a fighting weak Pokemon. It is the best Pokemon at the moment. It's the one we're all going after. And essentially here, to get a one-hit KO with a fighting Pokemon, you need to do 110. Well, you're doing a base of 50. Add a Regirock, you're up to 60. Add a Choice Band, you're up to 90. Add a Diancie, you're up to 110. And that means for one energy attachment on a basic Pokemon, you can now KO the best Pokemon in the game in a single hit. That is frankly dumb. But it's not just Zoroark. You pop a Regirock on the bench only, you're now doing 60 damage. That's enough to take out something like a Beldum or a Ralts. Instead of a Regirock, how about we get a Diancie here? Then you're hitting 60 damage. 
That's all right, because now you're taking out stuff like Trubbish, which is a big Pokemon at the moment, or something like Grubbin, which has seen a little bit of a drop in play, but I still think it's good and it might come back. And let me just reiterate this one more time. This is for a single energy attachment on a basic Pokemon, which is over the top good. Now you have to find your double colorless turn one. Okay, fine. You've got a just under 50% chance of having it turn one. But let's just ignore that for a moment here because it does really good damage while accelerating energy for a double colorless. And you can even use a Bridget turn one. Use Bridget turn one, grab yourself a Diancy, a Regirock, and a Zygarde. And as long as you've got a double colorless and can get out the active, you're going right there. Of course, a lot of people won't use Bridget with a deck like this. This is a deck that is crying out for Brooklet Hill. Play something like a Professor Sycamore so you're more likely to draw into your double colorless energy, etc. Because you can use Brooklet Hill to get yourself one of these Pokemon. Because Regirock, Diancy, Zygarde, they're all fighting Pokemon. This first attack is a setup attack. But it's not just a setup attack. It does great damage. And it sets you up for following turns. Even if you get KO'd, which is always a big risk in these attacks that attach energy to yourself, it doesn't really matter. Because you've probably got a KO on a little Pokemon or a Zoroark, and that energy was taken from the discard anyway. Now in terms of the second attack here, two fighting and a double colorless. Hopefully you use the first attack to get this rolling. 130. It's not a great attack, and if it wasn't for the energy acceleration from the first attack, I would say this isn't particularly good. But you do have energy acceleration, so it is. Yay! If it wasn't a fighting Pokemon, I wouldn't be saying it's particularly good, but it is! Yay! You whack a Choice Band and a Diancy down there, you're hitting 180, you're getting a KO on something like a Tapu Lele. I mean, in theory, you could add 4 Regirock to get 220, but that's a little bit unrealistic. And with my damage calculations I'm doing in this video, I'm not being unrealistic. All of these decks will play a Diancy. They will play, probably... Four Choice Band, and until the rotation, it's very likely they'll play one Regirock. And like I said, between cars like Bridget and Brooklet Hill, it's not exactly that difficult to get two basic fighting Pokemon out. This is an attack that can KO a Tapu Lele or something else. The 130 is quite good, because there's a whole bunch of Pokemon like Greninja, like Volcanion, that have 130 HP, so being able to hit 130 rather than 120 is in itself a bonus. This is not the attack on which you're going to be focusing, it's not the best attack ever, but it's for a middle attack that is not the focus of the Pokemon, this is pretty good. And then you get to the GX attack. Which is fine. Or at least I thought it was fine until I kept looking and found another card. Fighting, fighting, double colorless. So again, as long as you've used that first attack, you should be golden here. You do 150. That's not very good. Oh, and by the way, next turn you cannot be damaged by EX or GX Pokemon. That's when it starts, and it's not the end, but that's when it starts to get really good. You get immunity to EX and GX Pokemon next turn. Yowza. And there's a whole bunch of Pokemon here you want immunity from. I mentioned Golisopod earlier, because that is a deck that will hurt you. Oh no way, I've used my GX attack, I am immune to Golisopod. Now to be fair, Pokemon Ranger will go through this, but as I say, every time I mention Pokemon Ranger, nobody's playing it at the moment, and I mean nobody. Then, of course, you've got a whole bunch of decks like Zoroark decks that are basically only playing GXs. So you're walling that deck for a whole turn. Decks like Volcanion, all right. They do have non-GX or baby Volcanion. Hey, Nick. But that's not a great attacker against a 200 HP Pokemon. Even decks that have a Pokemon that can hit you may well not have a Pokemon that can hit you hard enough. And that's ridiculous. So now we've got this immunity, which is good. Now let's remember it's a fighting Pokemon. So this 150 adds up quickly. Yeah, you've already got a KO on Zoroark, but you add a Diancy or a Choice Band, all of a sudden you're getting a one-hit KO on Tapu Lele. 
that's pretty good. Add a choice band and a Diancy, you're hitting 200. There's your KO on Lycan Rock. Choice band, Diancy, and Regirock, Rock, which I do not think is particularly unrealistic. And all of a sudden, you've got a KO on a Golisopod there while getting immunity to a return KO from a Golisopod. That is ridiculous. And just in case this was not ridiculous enough, Another card revealed today that's going to get its own video shortly, Bonnie. And what Bonnie says is, if you discard a stadium in play, you can use Zygarde's GX attack even if you've already used it. Yeah. So now we've got a GX attack that with the extra damage multiplication that fighting can do, can KO GXs, that gives you immunity from pretty much all the best Pokemon the following turn, and can be used multiple times using a supporter card. Now, of course, Bonnie is your supporter card for the turn. So that means you're not going to be able to play something like a Sycamore. So if you are going full Zygarde, do consider playing something like Octillery or something like Zoroark. So that you can, you know, keep drawing into Bonnie and chain it. Because if you can find Bonnie every turn, you can do this attack every turn. Which means you always have immunity to EXs and GXs while you're taking a whole bunch of prizes. That is frankly ridiculous. First time I looked at this card, I went, ah, it's a moderately good fighting type. It'll see a bit of play. And then I realized how good the first attack was when you start looking at the numbers. Then I realized how great the GX attack was. Then I read Bonnie... And honestly, ladies and gentlemen, this is a card which is kind of bordering on stupid territory. The first attack is amazing, and it's on a basic for a single energy attachment. It's got huge HP, it's the best type in the game, which gets all the extra damage modification, and you've got a really good GX attack, which can be used multiple times. Now, like I've said, Bonnie and Diancie are going to get their own videos in the very near future. I'm going to go away and work on them, but for the time being, I mean... Quite frankly, this is a 5 Wossy card, and I wouldn't expect much arguments in the comment section. If it wasn't a fighting Pokemon, it wouldn't be, but it is. If Bonnie wasn't being released, maybe it wouldn't be, but it is. This card is ridiculous, ladies and gentlemen, and it's one of the easier 5 Wossies I've given. But as always, if you disagree with that, well, the good job, there's a comment section. Go nuts! Be nice. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wossy, Twitch for some live action at PTCG Radio, and over at Wossy Plays for some video game action. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and so on, you can do so by going to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio. But by far the most important thing as always is to look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.